This is ridiculously creamy, wow. Today, I'm reviewing the new Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Stick. This is a play on their already really great Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint. This is in a stick packaging. The difference that I'm seeing is it has a little bit more coverage with a natural finish, all that good stuff, you know, the blurring finish, smooth finish. I'm excited. Let's see how well the new Ease Drop stick performs. 35 US dollars. I have two shades, so we'll see which one works best for my skin tone. I have number two and number four. But we're first going to apply on my skin, let it kind of start melting in, and I'm gonna do one side with my fingers and then finish with a brush, and then the other side goes straight with the brush and see which one I prefer. Let's go with number four. It's like my skin tone, but a little bit, a little bit more peachy. Like I said, straight onto the skin just to help it start melting. Super, super creamy. And another thing with the packaging, I like the packaging and there's a tiny little cap. Always put the cap back on so the cream does not dry out. Let's see, I'm gonna take number two also, maybe just two, cause it looks like it's starting to oxidize a little bit. Yeah. I think two is actually my color. Yeah, let's do that. This is ridiculously creamy, wow. My fingers first, we'll do the right side with my fingers and then finish off with a brush, just to make sure it's all blended in. My skin is already prepped with everything. I don't have a primer underneath because they also don't recommend a primer, or at least on their how-to, they don't mention to use a primer to get the best wear, but they do mention to apply a moisturizer. Wow, that's actually really nice the way it's blending in. Mm -hmm. It's not a very slippy texture where you're applying it to your skin and it's just starting to disappear. It's not like that. It actually has a really nice texture where it has a little bit of that powder feel at the end, but it's blending in really nice. I'm having no issues whatsoever. I have a little bit of something right here. It was before I applied the makeup. I don't know what's going on, but I have some kind of reaction. It's like a little bump. Might be a pimple popping out. But look at that. That was pretty easy with my fingers. I'm just gonna go in with the brush without any product and just gently just tap just to get a more seamless finish. Make sure to bring this down the neck. Into the hairline, into the ears. But I feel like I don't even really have to blend that in even more. Wow. That was nice. If you're using your fingers, you're going to get more of that natural coverage and finish. It doesn't look extremely cakey on the skin. Honestly, it's looking almost undetectable on the skin. I'm getting a really nice natural finish where it's not extremely radiant or mattifying. I will say it's not the most blurring. So I'm thinking with the brush, it might be a little bit more blurring, but I do like the way it's looking on my skin so far. Now let's take the brush without any product on the brush and just start blending this in. I feel like with the brush, I'm putting a little bit more force than I did with my fingers. And I'm using the Rose and Ben C42 brush. Okay. I think if you have very dry skin, you might wanna apply some oil before blending this stick out. Yes, it's creamy, but do you see that? Mm -hmm. I'm about to use my buffing motion, which I usually don't do. But with this, it kind of have to. I thought it would help melt the stick a little bit further by letting it sit. But I feel like I have to put a little bit more force into blending this out. And my skin is moisturized. It's not dry.
Wow, I actually prefer it with the finger side first. It melted in a lot more into my skin versus the brush side. It's actually kind of sitting on top of my peach fuzz. Apply a little bit more to my nose. The texture of this foundation, the Ease Drop Stick, is really lovely. It's just you have to take a little bit of time to blend it in. Took a little bit more right here on both sides. I'm gonna use my fingers this time to warm it up, warm it up even further. Melt everything in. So what I'm no noticing with the Ease Drop Stick Foundation, if you let it sit too long in your skin and if your skin is drier, it will settle in, this, in those areas and it's not going to blend as easily. So I think first applying it to your skin and then using your fingers to really help melt the formula even further and then go in with either a brush or a sponge to make sure the finish and the blend is seamless. For concealer, I'm using the new Gucci concealer. It is becoming one of my favorites. A little bit of Westman Atelier contour stick. On my lips and on my cheeks, I have the Huda Beauty, the lip blush in shade Rosy Kiss. And then lip liner, ABH, I have two colors mixed together, Deep Taupe and Rose Dream. So let's move on to the next part of the review. We have the wear test. How the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Skin Stick Foundation wears and performs throughout the day. Two hours in, this is what we're looking like. Came outside to get that natural light. And I think we're still looking really, really good. I'm not looking too shiny. I'm not feeling shiny, but I'm feeling a little tacky, especially on my chin and my jaw. Like I, mm, I think I want to powder a little bit just to kind of set that tackiness, get rid of that tackiness. But from looking at the camera, I'm looking pretty blurred and I'm liking the way my skin is looking. Looking up close, there's a little bit of texture, but overall, I think we're looking really nice. I like it. I'll let you know if I decide to set my face. This is what seven hours looks like later. The T-zone, very oily. The makeup on the forehead, it's breaking apart and I can see a lot of it has disappeared on the forehead. Next, the, around the nose and the pores right here, you can see that it's getting pretty oily. And then around the chin as well, it's getting oily. But like the cheeks still look really good. The chin, the jaw looks really good. I did not set my face when we did that first update, the two hours in, I did not set my face. I figured, you know what? Let me just have the makeup sink in a little bit more. And I feel like after like four or five hours, it did sink in a little more, but just my natural oils coming to the surface and they're really breaking apart this Ease Drop Stick Foundation. We made it 10 hours later when I first applied the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Stick Foundation. I didn't powder my face. I didn't touch my face the entire day. So this is what the T-zone is looking like. In the T-zone, you can see the pores are pretty enlarged and they're very glowy. Obviously the light on my phone, it's illuminating the oils, but it's feeling and it's looking really oily even without the light. I would say this foundation is a good six hour foundation at that if you don't set your face and if you have an oilier skin type. I have combo skin, so that means T-zone, gets oily, the rest of it could be normal or it could be dry. <laughs> so it's just a mixture, it's a combo skin type. But I'm gonna have a lot more information on our website, millibybeautyreview.com. But for now, I'm gonna end it here. Thank you for watching and spending time with me and I'll see you in the next one.